Hello guys, we're clashing with Manny. We are playing 2v2 flying machine today and I already have 7 wins, 2 losses and hopefully we get those 9 wins. But we do have only one more chance to actually get them. But no worries, we already have them level 6. If we get those other 50, we might almost get them to level 7 but we still need a few more. We'll need probably uh, around like 13 more to upgrade them to level 7. So for now, let's just try to win this this two times and we'll get it to level 9. So here we go guys. Golem, Royal Giant. We always like like something heavy so you can tank pretty good. The Royal Giant isn't that bad but the Golem would be be much better. And Battle Ram... I like it because the two barbarians actually spawn and sometimes that can be awesome but at other instances I would prefer the other one but no worries for this one it is very better for the better ramp and either way we got the Valkyrie and that's pretty good maybe because we can use it to do some splash damage to the troops like right now I would probably use it right now let's see and like that, I would have waited a bit more, but that's alright for now because the princess got it covered, and one, now we have the golem on the left one. And let's put the minions so we can destroy that mega minion over there. And now we have a push on the right side and one on the left one, going in pretty good. And I put my musketeers there, but the knight is already down, so. That's nothing to worry about. Let's put a Valkyrie so we can protect that Musketeer right there. And let's start with another Golem on the back. Because I'm pretty sure that one is about to die. And the tower is not yet down. So let's go ahead and do some minions. But first let's destroy this Princess so we don't have any trouble with our minion placement right there. And he has the Triple Musketeer. That's pretty good against the graveyard which the opponent just placed. And now the flying machine is taking down the right side. They put the skeletons way too late and because of the range of the flying machine it destroyed the right tower. And now we have a golem to protect the triple musketeers and the lava hound. So I think this is a pretty well played game and we're about to get that 3 crown and good game. Good luck, we only need one more and we get those nine flying machines. And there we go, our eighth win. One more and let's keep it going. Hopefully, we get some pretty good troops. And now, tornado or graveyard. I'm gonna, I don't wanna play against double graveyards. I'll just get it just for a defense, I guess. And we can use the... Maybe the Dark Goblin because it's pretty fast. Mm. I don't want to give them the Fireball because I know that the Flying Machine actually dies in one single hit from the Fireball. And now we have the Executioner instead of the Fireball. And now we have even an Elixir Collector so that's pretty good. They might have like Lightning I and I think they have lightning guys but either way they will have to use the lightning on my collector and I can use my executioner so that's kind of good in a way but right now I guess we can put the executioner there's a lot of troops right there but why not and they just placed a ton of troops right there I want them to all explode on that giant bomb, which they did, but not the the witch didn't actually have enough time to explode right there. And now we can put the fireball. Oh, I don't think I think I missed the flying machine. Oh wow, I could have actually targeted the flying machine, and that would have been pretty good. Now let's use the graveyard as a defense because we don't have nothing at the moment. Oh, he missed the rocket on the giant. It's pretty bad. It's, we're really missing up right now. 
Let's use the Gen Skeleton to protect our troops right now because we're doing pretty bad actually. And let's use a fireball over here. And we destroy some, a couple actually, of troops right there. And now we're putting the executioner right over here to destroy everything from over there that is vulnerable to splash damage, such as the barbarians. And I think, I don't know, they have a ton of troops and they just keep on placing even more and more and more. And my partner, I don't know why he did right there. He just started placing a balloon on the on the other side. I think he's just starting to give up. I'm not sure. That was pretty unnecessary of him to do that. And now I think we're actually not going to win this ninth win. That's the thing about the partners sometimes. You don't get the best partners. Good thing that in the new update, I think... It's not new update, but it's... The next update, there's gonna be a a new system where you can actually go and choose your partners, which can be your friends. Actually, you can choose your friends to be your partners. Which that is gonna be pretty insane. It's gonna you can choose your partner. So either way, you can even play with yourself. Actually, like you can have two accounts and play with that same account. And now my partner maybe he has enough time to use that. Yes, he used the rocket, but still, I think we lost. And I'm trying to put this dark goblin and not enough time. And we almost got three crown. Oh my god. Damn, we lost the last one. Like I said, we cannot choose our partners at this time. But hopefully, and the no update. We can choose our partners and they'll be a bit better. But either way, we got eight wins. That sucks to lose at the last chance. But we don't really need the 50 flying machines, I guess. We use this deck. So either way, the flying machines would have been just to do like a another video, with, which I would play with level 7 or almost get level 7. But either way, guys, that was a pretty good game over there. And now we got some gold, some cannon, three musketeers, goblin gang, and executioner. And now let's donate some saps. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on notifications. And as you guys can see, I'm almost able to upgrade my furnace to level 11. And that's gonna be pretty cool because that's gonna be my third mask card. And. Anyways guys, see you guys in my next Clash video.